Okay, so um, if you've seen my other video, I've been experimenting with different types of chemicals to make um, plastic absorb nitride, to do nitride coatings. And um, today I was experimenting with some chemicals and something ridiculously stupid and bizarre happened. So I exposed, I soaked the cubes in some chemicals and the cube started growing. Like it, it started expanding bigger and bigger. And then I was like, oh crap, this cube was like a centimeter bigger than it was when I started. And then I took it out and I dried it off. And like this cube is eight millimeters, cubic millimeters big, <clears throat> excuse me, this smells horrible, bigger than it was when I started. So this is a normal Volk. This is an expanded big boy Volk. And let me put them together. So do you see how after the cube got bigger, it's, the smell is really bad. It stayed bigger. It, this is the stupidest thing. And the color kind of went away because the solvent leaches away. Obviously the cube is distorted because it grew eight millimeters, but like, here's another one. It grew with a turned layer, so it just got stuck. There's no practical use, but like, oh my God, I turned a 50, 55 millimeter cube into a 62 millimeter cube. Like, let me get my calipers here. I'm gonna take my calipers. 63, it's almost like a full centimeter bigger. Oh my God. I'll put it right here just for you to see. And on the Volk, I wanna put it right in the Volk so you can see. The Volk is only 55.5, like, Oh my God, that's a, uh, I don't know the percentage because the fumes are getting to me, but that's a huge percentage of growth. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. Um, but really, yeah, there's no, there is no practical purpose whatsoever. But here at Cubicle Labs, we figured out how to make cubes bigger with chemicals.